Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matthew here at Barn Fresh Classics in Biddeford, Maine. You can find us at barnfreshclassics.com. Check out our Facebook or give us a call 207-400-5326. What I've got for you today is a beautiful car. Uh, it's a 68 Super B. It's a real WM code Super B, not a Cornette clone. Oh shit, it's starting to sprinkle out here a little bit, but we'll see what we can get here. Uh, it's really, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful car guys. It really is. Um, it's got a very nice blended charm between partially restored and being original. A lot of the stainless is original to the car. It's in decent shape. I mean, you can see, you can see it's starting to sprinkle, but we'll get it done. You know, so it's, it's weathered, but it's original, you know, and same with the interior. It's got a lot of in original interior parts too, but it just gives it that great charm. Uh, it's 3 to 3 big block. It's got a four speed in it. Uh, and it's got a Dana 60 rear axle. Paint is really nice. You can see my building back there and all the way through. Shines like a mirror. No orange peel. There's no stone chips. It's got a couple scratches here and there, but nothing nothing major. Some Mag 500s, five stones, all in great shape. There's no rust, no rot, nothing like that. Very, very solid car. Very pretty car. Done its original color. I believe it was forest green in 69. Maybe wrong, but. Got the bumblebee stripe. In good shape. Portholes. Portholes actually look new on the car, so. All the chrome's in very, very good shape. Probably was redone recently. Again. You can see the bezels are original. They do a pitting, but it's just got that perfect charm between a partially restored car and, and original parts. Again, the paint's gorgeous. A real nice shine to it. Runs and drives like a brand new car. I mean, it goes straight down the road, fires right up. No vibrations, no weird noises, no smoke. Motor's very, very healthy. Super powerful motor. I've been driving around for a couple weeks now and been having a blast with it. Uh, we went through it front to back. Didn't really need anything actually. It is manual brakes, drum all the way around, manual steering, just how we like it at Barn Fresh Classics. Uh, it does have a couple scratches on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but they're there. There's a couple scratches. They're nothing, nothing major though. Nothing major at all. Show the interior here. Jams are all in excellent shape. Real nice. Again, interior just has a mixture. You know, it's got original gauges in it. Tick tock tack, which doesn't work. Original steering wheel. You know, I think it's got a couple of original armrests in the rear. Headliner's in good shape. It does have a little sag back here. Nothing major though. Clutch feels great. Shifts great. I mean, it's just, it runs like a brand new car, honestly. It goes so good down the road. It's a quick little car too. Being, I think 3,800 pounds. Fire it up for you. It's got a great sound to it. It's got that Mopar sound, you just can't mistake it. Uh, we did put a new carburetor on it. We put a uh, Edelbrock 750 on it with electric choke. I mean, it fires right up real easy. Idle's perfect. Runs real cool even on a hot day sitting in traffic. It don't get above 180. It runs real cool. And everything in the car works except for the TikTok tack and the gas gauge. Again, the gas gauge is original, so I'm sure that's what's not working, but it you know, could be the sending unit also. We may be able to look into it. We're awfully busy here, but we may be able to look into it before the car sells anyway. So, if you want to put a TikTok tag back in it, you know, you're looking at about 500 bucks. So, what a 
beautiful cock. Gorgeous, gorgeous cock. It's gonna make someone real happy. It does have an electronic fuel pump. It doesn't have a bad hum, but you can kind of hear it in the car a little bit. But that's amazing. Let's see if I can get underneath it here and show you guys a little bit what it looks like.